Hi, I'm Heath from vMix. This is just a quick video to let you know that vMix comes in a variety of languages in addition to the original English. You can pick your language by going to Settings, and then clicking on Options, and then under the Languages drop-down menu. vMix uses Google Translate to provide the eight base languages in this list. You just need to pick one and click OK. But if you want to add a new language translation or improve on an existing one, you can do that too by going to your Languages folder. Here's how. To access your Languages files, head to the drive that you installed vMix on. By default, this is going to be the C drive. Now, navigate to Program Files x86, then vMix, and then Languages. Here you'll find each language using a two-letter code from the ISO 639-1 standard. I've dropped a link to what that means in the description. If you want to create a brand new translation, then copy the English file to your desktop, open it up, and you'll see that the file is made up of three tab delimited fields per line. The first is the object name, the second is the English text, and the third is the translated text. Just go ahead and replace every third field with your new translation, and then save the file as the two-letter code from the ISO 639-1 standard. If you want to edit an existing language, the steps are very similar. Just copy the file to your desktop, make your edits to the last field of the text you want to change, then replace the old file with your new one. One very important note if you are modifying those base translations that come with vMix though. Make sure you keep a backup copy of your custom translation file elsewhere because every time you update vMix, your translation will be overwritten and you'll need to copy your version back in. And just to let you know, if a new vMix update has a new button with text on it, for example, then vMix will show this button in English if your translation file doesn't include this field. In the vMix forums, there's a language translation section that explains how to do all this in more detail. It also covers off how to upload your translations to the forum to share with others, how to download and save a translation from the forums, and how to request a new translation from other vMix users. Just head to forums.vmix.com to learn more or ask any questions about translations. And if you want to know anything about vMix, our website at vmix.com has plenty of resources to help, as well as a 60-day free trial of vMix Pro with no watermarks or restrictions. You can also email us to get support from our team, which is what we recommend you do rather than asking questions in the comments below. And that's it. I'll see you next time.